Hello friends, this is Felix welcome back. In this video, I'm going to summarize the Nikolai stream for FABJP for the month of May 2018. Okay, so the first one, we're going to be getting a new story update, which means more Lapis, awesome. Next, new trial, Dark Golem and Dark Shifa. In this trial, Golem will cover Shifa as a tank. Golem will do single target physical attacks. Shifa will do AU magical attacks. And the rewards are going to be, the first one is a head, uh, looking pretty awesome for your mage. Second is heavy armor good for your tank. Next, a uh, new 3-star Esper Trial, Alexander. Okay, this time you will have Wings, looking pretty awesome. And the ability, he will have Machine Killer Kai. So it is both applicable applicable to physical and also magical. 75% Machine Killer awesomeness. And also, you have to use White Crystal to challenge this Esper. So if you don't have a lot of those, it's time to start farming now. Next, let's talk about the new system here. So this new system will be implemented at the end of the month of May 2018, okay? So how does this work guys? Basically now you can convert any rare summon unit which you already have like 100% TM to a TMR coin and you can exchange this coin for a reward. The rewards are currently unknown and it will be implemented in a later day. Free units such as Yushitola and Kelsos from the raid summon coin and also friend point summon unit cannot be converted into this TM coin uh, including the TMR mobiles guys and also the amount of TM coins you can get will be dependent on the star of the unit that you guys converted for example 5 star base units such as lightning will net you more coin than uh, 4 star base unit uh, such as wado and also 3 star base units such as hayate next let's talk about the Final Fantasy X collaboration number 3, awesome. So this will take place in Zanar Kanes. In this event, you can get a 5-star based guarantee ticket from doing daily missions, okay? So this ticket can only be used in the special banner that this they provided uh, during this particular event, okay? So watch out for that, guys. And let's, let's now talk about the units of the banner. The first one is 3-star base, Aniki, okay? Really awesome, Mohawk haircut guys awesome and this is his in-game battle animation okay and um, his TMR is gonna be an accessory grants you attack plus 20 blind immunity water resist plus 30 percent next is a four star base um Belgamine. the TM is gonna be a magic plus 30 percent and also evoke damage plus 10 percent so it is a materia and she'll be a summoner as a unit now let's talk about the four star, five star base of the banner, Auron. Finally, guys, he's here. We've been waiting for a long time. So, as expected, his sprite is looking really, really awesome here, looking really badass. Okay, and um, this is his in-game animation, right? Uh, looking really badass as well. And the TM is gonna be a Materia. Grants you Katana Mastery plus fifty percent. Okay, and also grants Confuse, Disease, and Petrify immunity. Awesome, pretty awesome. And his STMR is gonna be a katana plus 184 attack and also MP plus 30%. So I think this is the highest attack power katana that we have at the moment in the game. His limit break is um, AOE 900% physical damage, 50% ignore defense, so effectively 1800% damage modifier. And also fire imperil 100% at the same time at max level is really really awesome. And also um, his STMR, the katana is not a double hand weapon guys. He's gonna be a TDH damager. Uh, he will have strong debuff skills and also dual cast abilities. So uh, some of you guys have been asking me guys, like, uh, like Felix, when are we gonna get a new breaker banner? So yeah, I think this guy is potentially uh, one of the strongest breaker that we can have in the game. So yeah, let's look at the data mine later on, the 27th of May right there. Next, uh, the Second 5-star base of the banner, we got Jacked, okay guys, so it's Tita's father, looking really, really awesome, his sprite, looking so manly, guys, look at the big sword, look at his sprite, awesome! And this is his in-game animation here, and as he's charging his power right there. His TMR is gonna be a Materia, HP plus 20%, um, also grants you GS Mastery, so plus 50% attack power when equipped with the Great Sword. I think it is only 10% stronger than where his TMR. His STMR though is a great sword, attack plus 176 also grants 100% high type. So guys, this is not a double hand weapon. So for a TDH um, damager, I think Cloud STMR is still the best. Okay? 
But for dual wield attackers such as uh, Sephiroth or maybe CG Laswell, I think this Greatsword is really, really awesome, man. Next, um, his limit break is AoE 1600% physical damage. Also grants triple cast the next round at max level, okay? Um, he's gonna be a TDH dual wield damager. And he can chain with Tidus, so basically quick hit frame. And also he can unlock triple cast like Tidus, okay? So he's basically the perfect partner for Tidus. Awesome, really, really awesome. Awesome guys, and um, yeah, they say that they're, they're gonna uh, they're gonna be fixing the quick trick frame, so it's gonna be easier to chain. So basically, you don't need spark chain anymore to chain perfectly uh, for the dual wheel, dual wheel chainer right there, guys. Amazing stuff. So I don't know if it's gonna be true or not. So basically, it's what they say though. Okay, last but not least, for the Golden Week campaign, we'll be getting this uh, great success when fusing rate up, free summon every day, and also one thousand mocking event currency every day, guys. So this is the time for you to level up your uh, seven star units. So maybe if you summon like for uh, two Auron or two Jack, you can instantly seven star them, which is really awesome. Okay. And also for uh, miscellaneous, um, plus 1,500 unit slot for the units that you cannot bring on missions. So for example, we have Cactus stat pots. So guys, awesome. This is really awesome uh, news, especially for me. All right. And also, uh, the producer, Hirono, mentioned that he might increase the rainbow rate. So I don't know if it's the truth or not, because basically they lie a lot uh, this time. Okay. And uh, if it is true, though, it's going to be awesome. And also, now, for the future rates, it will have 10 orbs, guys, instead of 5 orbs. So this is another awesome news here. So I think that's the end of the summary for the Nikolai stream. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, here, Felix. Peace out.